Hey guys, Jason here. I've uh, been working a lot on this song recently and I wanted to share the video of, um, of the acoustic guitar part for Prince of Peace. Um, this is based on the version on, uh, of Dirt and Grace by Hillsong United. And uh, it's a really beautiful uh, acoustic guitar part. Uh, it's really intricate, it takes a lot of um, practice and I've uh, been practicing a lot, so I wanted to share with you guys kind of what I've figured out because um, I think it's I think it's worth worthwhile. All right, so first I have the capo on the second fret. Uh, the song originally was in D, uh, but in this on this version they're doing it in A. So the the female vocal lead is really low, and then she goes up an octave um, as as the song builds. It's a nice effect. Um, so I have it capo second fret, which means I could play could play it in G. Um, Basically, um, most of the finger picking that I'm going to do doesn't uh, doesn't really require the capo, um, but I still like it uh, for a couple reasons. One is sometimes, as you're finger picking, you might hit another note by accident, and um, and at least it'll be you know in in the right key. Um, so I'll start with the intro and take you through. Let me adjust this a little bit. So you can see. All right, so um, for the intro, I'm using um, finger four and five on uh, one, two, three. It's basically like the fifth fret from the capo, so it's the seventh fret really. Um, and then the my my index fingers on the third fret from the capo or the fifth fret. So you can hear my, the finger picking that I'm doing, I'll, I'll, I'll demonstrate for you I'm using um, my thumb and my first two fingers here. And just, just. So this is a very common pattern throughout the rest of the, the whole song basically uses that same pattern. So it's thumb, index finger, thumb, um, second finger. So if you work on the intro, um, getting that, that finger picking pattern down, it's you're gonna use a lot throughout. So um, you notice I, I slid down, uh, so I'm on the seventh, and seventh fret with the, these two fingers and the fifth fret with this finger. And I'm gonna slide down a, a, a fret, so I'm on the sixth fret. But when I do that, I replace this index finger with my, my, my second finger. The reason for that is every so often we'll throw in um, um, that note, which if I have my index finger, I can play it on that top string. Okay. Next part of the song, after that's the intro and the first part of the verse. Um, I take my index finger and I put it here on the fourth fret. On the basically, it's like a it's a C sharp here. I leave my um, my middle finger on this E, and then I add the high A. So you see that that position. Then I use this third finger, I bring it down to, to hit the uh, G sharp. Switch it back. Get you that up close with that.
okay? And then that leads us to the chorus. Chorus, so I slide down, there's my A, index finger, and I'm using these two fingers. So this is, what is that, seventh, ninth, ninth fret. Of that. So there's the seventh fret, ninth fret, ninth fret. I slide it up to the ninth and the eleventh, and then I, I switch my finger. So instead of using this pinky right here, instead of using this one, I slide it up the two frets. I use the middle finger to get the minor. So I'm up here on the, what's this, a ninth fret? index finger and I go down to the lower string same fret and everything's here on the ninth fret now see it and then I slide this down to the D this is the biggest stretch so I have the D here I have the open uh, open A and then the high of sharp with the pinky So let me go that. I'm gonna play through it one time so you can hear kind of how it sounds in time. back to the to do is I drop down to this this, um, this low G. Now instead of playing a whole G chord, um, I'm only playing this, I'm sorry, uh, I'm, I'm capoed so it's actually an A chord, but um, just imagine for a second we're in G. So it's like a G chord, but I'm just playing the G and I have my this finger on the, the, the D, so it's actually A and E. And I'm playing, um, finger picking wise, I'm playing the Switch to the open um, A, actually B, and and I move from the from the E. I move down to the D. So it's an open B and a D, which is like a B minor chord. If you were thinking about it in G, this would be like a G, and then an A minor, and then an E minor seven. if you play it this way it gives you um, one 
all alternate version, which they do later in the song. So um, instead of just playing that, that D, I can also play the, the open B, so it sounds like this. When you play the um, the down bridge, you know we're playing this. Um, oh, be still, my heart. For I know that you. Um, so it gets to that, sorry, it gets to that E minor, and it holds up for a second, and then it goes to the C, and then what I do is I just slide up to the D, and I'm still picking on that, I, I'm talking, I'm talking in G for a second, so I apologize, but, uh, so this is my C, just a C and a C, with that G in the middle, open G. Slide it up to the D, and then slide up to an E, and then down to the A minor, repeats again, C, D, and then the E. And then after that's when I go to this. That's pretty much the whole song. It, it, it plays around with that until the end. Um, each part is kind of you know pretty intricate. So the things that I've really had to practice a lot is getting getting from the the verse into that first chorus where you're going up to. So I could just sit here and play that all day because it's just beautiful. But it's um. It's, it's hard to get your fingers down when you're not used to these types of, of fingerings, you know, with your pinky up here on these high notes like that. It's just, it takes some practice. So I would, the other part was, you know, is, is, is pretty simple. And you can, later on in the song, I do, I do actually strum chords like... You know, playing in G, it's just G, A minor 7, E minor 7, and then C2. Um, and as it builds, you know, you can kind of add that in later. Um, but that's basically it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you do have any questions, uh, please post them in the comments below. And uh, thanks for watching.